Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit the widespread stories about Earth's second moon. We're going to take a look at a study of Earth's interior and see one on solar forcing of atmospheric temperature. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where the sun has been quiet again. As expected, given the lack of dangerous sunspot groups, we do have a coronal hole and several plasma filaments we're monitoring right now, and those filaments are actually the larger eruption threat. While solar flaring is not expected until we get some larger and more complex sunspots, we may take a coronal hole stream in the early to middle part of next week, and we'll be monitoring these filaments closely as well. In the days ahead, we'll also be watching for big sunspots returning to the Earth-facing half of the sun. But right now, let's go to the story making the rounds, and doing so with a surplus of misunderstanding. Folks, this second moon thing really isn't a big deal. Astronomers actually think it happens relatively frequently, they just happen to see this one coming better than before. An asteroid is going to do a loop orbit of Earth and then fly back off into space. It won't be visible to us or anything like that. Scientifically interesting, but not really anything more. Solid study up next on the mantle suggesting that the differences in lava chemistry happen as it makes its way to the surface, and that the mantle itself is pretty homogeneous. By the way, that supports the hole in the bottom of the crust theories rather than the mantle hotspot theories. Good article here on solar forcing. Data from central England and Greenland both show 11 year cycles in the temperature data, matching the 11 year sunspot cycle. The data covers 400 years, and at those long range scales, it's likely the result of a combination of irradiance variation, particle flux variations, and their direct impact from major oscillations and atmospheric modes. It's the sun that controls our weather. While Founders Weekend is going on at the ranch now, below you have a link to the birthday event at the ranch on October 19th, turning 40. Remember, I'm out there every week and observers are out there every day. Come see us and book a stay at the ranch at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.